Okay, today we're going to paint this uh, 110 suspended minnow. We're going to put this pattern on it. We're going to put the uh, the nightcrawler pattern on it. What's that called? Uh, yeah, I know I put a little short video out there, a real fast video. But this is why I'll show you step by step how I did the nightcrawler pattern. It did really well on TikTok. I got 19,000 views on TikTok. So I figured, hey, let me show you guys what I did. At least explain to you at least a little bit. But yeah, it's a real simple pattern to do. I'm going to put it on this because I think this suspended minnow underwater. I don't know. It might work. It might work. It might not. But I, oh, but oh, let me get to this. Man, this damn thing, it does spin. If you reel it in fast, it spins in circle. This is the uh, sugar booger bass. This is the last video I just put out. It ain't do too well. 100 something views or something like that I got. But um, yeah, the sugar booger bass. This thing here, man, these are nice too, man. The issue is if you wheel them in fast, they spin in circle. But if you reel them in slow, they they swim straight. The issue is now the popper back here does not make a lot of noise. I like more mines them having more of a reaction, a lot loud of a popping sound. But if you reel it in fast where you get the nice popping sound out of this, out of the paddle tail, it's nice. But the issue is if you reel it in fast, it spins in circles. But if you reel it in slow, it'll stay straight. It looks nice. But the issue is now you're not getting the popping sound out of the back of the tail. That's the problem. But... It looks really nice in the water, though, actually. It actually looks really... this. I will be buying more of these. But... Uh, they all right. Look, I had one that actually seized up on me. I put the um, UV. I like to seal mine up with the UV. And I actually got stuck. So I had to cut cut it off. And I put one of these uh, blades on the back. The bl what's it called? A buzz bait. There you go. Buzz bait blade. Wow. Can you believe I said that? <laughs> buzz bait. Damn, man. See, I'm messing up. <laughs> I can't talk. But yeah, I love this color of this pattern. Man. The color is nice. I really like that. It's candy. Candy paint, man. You, you can't go wrong with candy. You cannot go wrong with candy. That is sweet. The buzz bait. There it is. Buzz bait blade. Wow. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> it's a nice color, man. I love this color. I will be uh putting this on like a rattle trap or something. That color combo is so weak. But, ooh, 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 before I forget, before I forget. Ooh, I have got a couple of, uh, this is my Angry Bird. My Angry Bird with his cool shades on. Get a little closer to the camera so you can check it out. Angry Bird with the cool shades on. Real simple pattern to do. Even signed it. Check that out. So if I lose it and you find it, if anybody comes to this side of town, Cumberland County area, I lose a lot of fishing lures too, man. So if you fishing in Cumberland County area and you come across one of my lures and it signs and you find it, I'll give you another one. Just because. Just because you found it. This one, I made it a little shorter. This one. This one came out sweet. I'm going to do a video for this one, too.
but this one ain't do too well on TikTok. So hopefully it does well on YouTube. Yeah, oh man, I almost dropped it. It's nice. All right, oh, 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 I got another one. I got another one for you. Man, I've been busting them out for you. So then throwing it on the rocks. See what happens, throw it on the rocks. But if you put aluminum foil, that aluminum foil tape on the front of that, it looks like the minnow on the back is chasing something small in the front of that reflection. Man, that reflection is mean, too. I tell you, that reflection is mean in the water. It goes just like that. And the bass go, bang, bang, they get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet right there. I'm a, I, I'll be doing a lot more foil on the front because that right there throws a one hell of a reflection. And last but not least, so we get back. Man, let's get to painting, man. I get tired of showing everything I be doing. But let's get back to doing the Nightcrawler. The Nightcrawler, I've been talking six minutes on just showing you these sweet patterns. <laughs> All right, let's get to the Nightcrawler pattern. Okay, we're going to show you the colors I'm going to be using to get this pattern, to get the Nightcrawler pattern, which is the white and the color shifting. And I like to mix mine a little more grayish, so this way you can still see that color shift. It'd be, it looks white, but it has a gray tint, and it has that little pinkish, color shifting into it. it's pretty neat it goes perfect for this pattern then you got just the basic yellow then the orange then the red now i did try this pattern with other yellow red and orange and it just didn't didn't have that that color that pop and then this is the maroon now with the maroon all you need to do is grab that red yellow and then the blue is how I made the maroon, but I did use candy. I put candy in mine just to give it a little sharper. So if you can put candy in yours if you want, but if you don't, just use these three colors and you come up with a nice maroon to put for the top. And that's all you need is the blue and then you're all set, ready to go. Now I'm gonna be using this one as my base coat too, and it's gonna go for the back part. So you use it. Oh, and before I forget, you're gonna need rubber bands. Now, I would recommend to buy better rubber bands. Yeah, I got these from the dollar store. These are junk, cheap. But if you go buy some decent rubber bands, it'll probably make your life a little easier. <laughs> Stop being cheap like me, man. Get some good rubber bands. But if you get some decent rubber bands, but this will work. If you can't get them, you get the dollar store ones, it'll work just fine. All right. Let's have some fun now. Okay. Now, the first step we're going to do is white. I'm going to put the base coat real fast. I'm only going to do one pass on every color, and that's it. Just to make try to make this video real quick. But the first thing is just going to be... This mixture of the gray and white. Don't mind the compressor. Hopefully you don't mind the compressor and hopefully you don't mind the, uh, the fans. I'll be watching some of you guys videos, some of you guys and girls videos and you be spraying on a cardboard box, man. I don't know how you do it. Yo, that stuff, all the mist that the paint be throwing man and you be breathing that stuff in because a lot of you guys and girls don't be wearing no mask but yeah i can't do it i gotta use a fan so hopefully you don't mind
this one pass. I don't know if you can see that little pinkish tint to it. But all right, I'll be back when I'm all done with the white. All right, I'm back. I'm all done with the white. Now I'm going to do my yellow. I have not cleaned the airbrush yet. Heat set, I'll be done with the yellow. Next color is going to be orange. We're going to just do orange and, and patterns, but we're going to just try to leave it mostly right over the top of the hump. There we are. Maybe right in the middle, right around there somewhere. So that's where we're going to put the little spot at. All right. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right. As you can see, I mixed the yellow and orange all in one container because I have not cleaned the airbrush yet. It's all in one. It's all in one. All right, that's the first coat of that orange. Can't really see it right now that well. I'm gonna go back over it a couple more times. I'll be back. All right, I'm back with the orange, all done. Hopefully you can see that real well, all the way around. Now we're going with the red. I have not cleaned. See the orange and red still in there, yellow still in there, airbrush still nasty, red, yellow, orange, a little bit of everything's in there right now. Same thing with the red. Try to do it right in the middle part. You hit red a little bit everywhere too though. Just to tone down that yellow. tone down that yellow a little bit but then you want to focus mostly on the red right in the middle of that orange That's it with the red. It's going to tone it down a little bit when I put the, the maroon and white on it. That's it. So you need a little bit of red. All right, now it's, uh, now it's time for rubber band time. All right, we're all back ready to go with the red heat set done. Airbrush is nice and cleaned out. I had to clean it out. Now it's because it's time to put the white on. But before we put the white on, it's time for the rubber band time. 
All right, now you're going to, however far you want the rubber bands to go, I'm going to do mine off camera so it won't take all day because uh, you're going to put on it. Now, even if you do scratch the bait or you peel some paint off, it does not matter because you're going to go over top of it anyway. So if you scratch it, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it because you're going to go back over it with the other paints and cover it up anyway. So it's not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to put my music back on, put the rubber bands on here, and I'll be back. I'm all done with the rubber band. I think I got 15 on there. It doesn't matter how many you have on there. I just happen to count them. But yeah, now we're just going to do the white all the way to here. The maroon all the way to there. And we're all done. And we have the nightcrawler pattern. After you take the rubber bands off. You know what I mean. But alright, time for the white. We're going to do white first. Always go light colors to darker. So we're going to do white, maroon. Alright, don't touch none of that in the middle. Leave all that alone. Spray from back here on. As you can see, the white's coming through real nice. You know what? Let me turn it. Just so it stops being so bright. I should have did that from the beginning. My bad. All right, I'm going to finish the white off camera. I'm going to take the white all the way to here. I'll be back. All right, we're all done with the white. Let me turn the light down a little bit there we go maybe get a little better view out of it now we're going to do the maroon like i said don't touch the middle Just do the head part all right let's do the maroon That's the first coat. I'm going to bring it all the way to here. But yeah, that's the first coat. I'll be back. Alright, I'm all done with the maroon in the front. Now we just got to take the rubber bands off. Make sure your heat set before you take the rubber bands off. Now the next step, when you take the rubber bands off, you're going to go back over with a light coat just to tone down those lines. Besides that, you're all done, ready to go. All right, I'm going to take the rubber bands off. I'll be right back. All right, I took all the rubber bands off. Now, with that same maroon you have in the airbrush, let's go over the top real lightly over the yellow. So this way, you don't want to get rid of the lines. You want to keep the lines there. That's the whole point why you use the rubber bands, man. Come on now. Don't get rid of the lines. Turn my compressor back on, that'd be nice.
Now I'll probably go one more pass before I don't want to lose the lines. You can barely see them. So I might, I might just leave it like that. Just touch up the back ones a little bit. And then go to the white. All right. Now this is time when you put, before you clean your airbrush out with the maroon, put the eyes on. So this way you can paint over the eyes. Try to find the ugliest eyeballs you have, the ones you don't like. And they're the ones you use. So let me find something. Yeah, I just put some, what I had the most of, which is these red eyes, red and silver eyes. I got a lot of these. So I'm going to paint over top of that with the maroon real fast. And that's it. Then I'm going to the white. All right, the eyeballs are in. All painted, ready to go. I should have did that from the beginning. I should have put the eyes on first and then painted. Well, learning curve, right? You can do yours. Put the eyes, glue the eyes on first. And then paint over top of everything. All right, time for the white. The grayish white. Now you do not want to lose the lines, so just go a real light coat. Set time, I'll be back. All right, I'm all done. I'm back, ready to go. It's done. See the little lines still in there? Still want to see the lines. That's one thing, major, major part of the pattern. But yeah, the night crawler is done. I'm gonna see how many people copy my night crawler pattern. I see there's a. Ready to go. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We are done. It's been probably maybe a whole week. Since I'm actually got back, let me I'll back you up a little bit. There we go. That's better. Just wonder why I look y'all guys looking so close. But if you can see the if you can see the segments anyway, there you go. You can see them on top better this way. It's a pretty cool pattern. I took this one out, caught myself a pike, one pike, two pike, and I caught myself on my finger. I don't know if you can still see it. Let me see. Move the camera real quick. There it is right there. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Thing went right through my finger. Yes, it did. I'm going to put the picture up right about there somewhere. Yeah, but this pattern is pretty neat. The fish is actually it's really cold out here, and the fish has been going after the top water. And it's still kind of cold in New Jersey right now. But, yeah, check it out. I hope you like this video. This pattern is pretty neat. Hopefully, I don't know if it catches fish now. Not yet. I'll let you know if it catches me fish. Hopefully, it catches fish. It's pretty neat. Something different. Take out the box, people. Try something different. Oh, yeah. Talking about that. Oh, look. I got a package from Blind Symmetry. Sent me a package. Check that out. My next video, I'm going to open it. My next video, I'll be opening it. Which I'm probably make the video in the next couple of hours because I ain't got nothing to do today. So, I might as well make another video. All right, peoples.
Thank you for watching. My name is Rick, and I'm out.